Good morning again. This is going to be my second video today. Again, I'm trying to keep everything under 15 minutes. If I gotta make smaller videos, I will. These two are the Anna Griffin um, projects from um, HSN. And it's the carriage and also the 3D haunted house. Which I didn't make it out of a haunted house. I just made it out of a regular house. So let me set up and I'll show you what I created. Okay, I'm back. And here's my three. And these are getting ready for an album. I think this might be an 8x8 album. I think I'm going to have to measure it. But I love this die. So I can't wait to get her carriage sale die. I'm going to try to play around with that this weekend. So the other items I used, um, this is part of uh, something that I ordered online, and I used it for the inside of the, the window, along with the curtains. And I just cut these down so they can fit actually inside. See how I did the top and then the curtains. Um, and then I also used um, this kit I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with it. So, and I use that piece for the top because I like the carousel to have, um, not the carousel, the carriage to have the top. And of course, Anna Griffin dies. So let me show you the first one. Here's my first one. I wanted to keep the horse the same color as the carriage. So maybe in the, the future videos, I, I change up on the horse with the colors. But this one is Cinderella, so... I'm getting ready to do, once I finish, I have one more, um, one more die to play around with from HSN. And also the carousel, and I have a couple more that I'm waiting for it to come, waiting for it to be delivered. So, um, I'm going to try to squeeze in my princess projects in between, so stay tuned for those. But I do want to make an album. And I'm not sure if I want to make the album just the carriage itself and make pages or make this a full 8x8 eight eight album. So I, I will figure out. I will figure it out. Um, this is that die off, uh, um, that I just purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere. But I used that. Wait, let me, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry, I usually have all the dies handy, but I guess this one I forgot about. Now, this is the recent Hobby Lobby purchase. And I did make samples. So that's why um, when I came across the carriage and I saw the sample, I said that would be a perfect fit. So, and it, it comes in, um, I think, three pieces or four. And it does come with the shadow. Yeah, it comes in four. Oh, more. So I forgot about the little, um, the little decorations up there. So this was, I love this die with the carriage. So this was definitely a, a good purchase. I was too sure about the price, even though the price wasn't, the price was still good, especially for clearance. But I wasn't too sure. So I am pleased, very happy that I did pick that up. So that's what I used to wrap it around. And I just got those blings that I have so many. Um, I think that's a d stash flower. I need to take a sip of my coffee. So this was um, super cute to um, to make. And again, I wanted to keep the, the horse the same color as the carriage. So so far, this is my first first item for my um, princess projects coming up. I don't know how many I have. I think I have about eight of them. I think. Um, okay, here is Sleeping Beauty. Aurora is her name? I can't remember, but Sleeping Beauty. And I took out those flowers. And I also um, inked the shadow of the flowers. So. And this came out super cute. And I did put a scallop circle on the back to just give it a little a little more. A little more touched. Give it a little a little something. And it also helps support that little um, little um, top die. So I love how this came out. 
And I remember the bowls from, um, I think, Tuesday mornings that I kept on staring at and not using. So this is my other project, which is super cute. Okay, let me show you my third princess. Rapunzel? Is that? Yeah, the hair. The long hair person. <laughs> oh, I think it's Rapunzel. Okay, and here is her. I should have did the same. Oh, no, I, I backed it up with a flower. Just to give it some support. And I took out my little tiny bows. I think those are from Joann's. And uh, I think the sewing, the button section. So I took out some bling bling. So yeah, definitely had fun with this. So again, I just have to figure out I'm going to make this. I, I have to measure it out. Whatever whatever size this is, make a, you know, make an album or just use the image. And just, um, you know, I might do a, a full album because I don't want to mess up the circles when it comes to the, the ends. Or I could just find something that gives us that extra length here and just double up just cover it up by another one of these on the opposite side I see I have a couple of things to try to play around with so stay tuned for the um, princess princess projects I don't know when I'm gonna get those done hopefully um before the end of September so those are my three um, carriage princess um, projects let me Get prepared for the other one, so stay tuned. Hold on, we're gonna put you in pause. Okay, I'm back now. This is my second part of the video, and this is the Anna Griffin 3D haunted house dies. So, of course, I, I don't celebrate Halloween, but I do like the cute ones, the cute Halloween, like the Disney Halloween. I do. I, I do like cute. Mm. So let me show you. Uh, matter of fact, let me show you my suitcase. This is what I put the the items in, and this is another another one I created. And if you go back to my first video, you will see um, the pro die that I used to um, create it, and the other the other dies. So again, my flowers are from Hobby Lobby. Majority of them. The corner. Which you see is not a perfect fit. This is from another Queen and Company suitcase die. I got this wooden key. I'm in a D stash. So I added some bling. Um, again, this bling might be um, familiar because it's from Hobby Lobby. My acetate, I love that acetate. I took out those 5 million words, not words, but um, letters, and just started to use them my new dots I do love and this is the top of the box and the tag I really didn't need the tag but I like to play around I have enough paper to play around and here's the sides so and this is where I I kept my um, Anna Griffin house projects in so again I love these because once I finish up this whatever's in here I can replace it with something else or I can create something else another box so this was super cute so again this is the only time I was using my 12 by 12 because this die does require 12 by 12 paper because it's a big die and, and you need a bigger cutting machine for that so that's my my box I love this box let me put that right there all right here's the Anna Griffin dies it doesn't come with the, the magnetic sheet so I just replaced the the, um, the piece that it came with and, and backed it on that. I just got to make it a little sturdier. I'm going to put some cardboard underneath it just to keep it flat. So this was a fun, this was fun playing around with. And here's my first end. It does come with the shadow windows. The window is, does come two pieces, but I didn't want to use both. So um, I just put them in here, and it fits in the box too. So just in case I want to use it for another project down the line. So here's my first one. 
Now I did use other dies. This is from another. Is this from um? This one might be from Queen and Company. Defense. The apple is also from um, Queen and Company. I just added it on, and I just used my glitter and I just used the top um, from the princess, not the princess, the castle dies. I'm sorry for the glare. The castle dies that I ordered online. And this is super cute. I love how this came out. So I really wanted to make it out of a, I might even make more, but make them houses in the future. But I wanted to make them out of castles. So maybe I can use this with my princess, princess projects. I don't know. I'll figure something out. All right, here's another one. Which I had fun creating. And again, same as the first one. And I love added that. I just popped it up. And I love adding the the top and the, the fence to the project. And here's my last one. See, I love that. And these are the paper. The um the plaid paper are from the, the same cole collection but just different different colors. So and I again I had that collection for so long and I just Finally started to use it, and I love I love the color. I love the glitter, glitter paper. And glitter paper is very hard for the shaker foam shakers to stick to. So, a couple of times I had to um, um, redo them because they wouldn't stick. So I, I'm not sure if it's all the glitter paper or the certain glitter paper. So I have to um, do a little more research. So now when I make shakers, I make sure I don't. You know, use the glitter for the bottom. Just use it for the the top. But these are super cute. So this one here, good, is under fifteen minutes. So these were super super fun to create, guys. Stay tuned. I'm a. I, I don't know. Maybe I have three or four more videos to do. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye bye.